BJP demands apology from Congress over Gulam Nabi Azad's comments comparing RSS with Islamic State. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley says Congress has given legitimacy to Islamic State, which is a global terror organization. The government today clarified in the Rajya Sabha that there is no change in the existing reservation policy. The statement was made by Finance Minister Arun Jaitley. Ethics Committee of Parliament issued show cause notice to Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi seeking his response on why he declared himself a British citizen in documents related to a UK-based company. Terror attacks shocked Turkey and Ivory Coast last night, killing at least 34 people and wounding 125 others in a suicide car bomb blast. President Erdogan said terror groups were targeting civilians because they were losing their struggle against Turkish security forces. He said such attacks increase our determination to fight terror. In Ivory Coast, heavily armed gunmen went on a shooting rampage in a beach resort, killing at least 16 people. Six shooters targeted hotels on a beach before being neutralized in clashes with Ivorian special forces. Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb claimed responsibility for the shootings. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has condemned the attacks at Ankara and Ivory Coast. In a tweet, the Prime Minister said his thoughts are with the families of the deceased. He also wished speedy recovery to the injured. President Pranam Mukherjee has said the government and judiciary must work in tandem to reduce costs and time taken for dispute resolution. Addressing the 150-year celebration function of Allahabad High Court, Chief Justice of India, Justice T.S. Thakur said, judiciary needs to see the challenges within. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has expressed hope that the GST and insolvency bills will be passed in the second half of the budget session of Parliament. Addressing the closing ceremony function of Advancing Asia Summit, the minister expressed his gratitude to the International Monetary Fund for recognizing India as a bright spot in the world. In Himachal Pradesh, the remaining two engineering students were also airlifted this morning. The rescue teams had yesterday rescued six out of eight students who were stranded in remote Chandrakhani Jot area of Manikaran Valley in Kullu district. In a major breakthrough to the Naxal problem, 57 Maoist sympathizers, including 11 militia and two village committee members, yesterday surrendered before police in Malkangiri district, while another three Naxals laid down their arms in Chhattisgarh. A court in Hyderabad has issued non billable warrants against Vijay Malia and A. Raghunath, the chief financial officer of Kingfisher Airlines, in an alleged cheating case. The police have been ordered to produce Malia, who is currently in the UK, in court by 13th April. The airport officials had filed 11 cases against Mr. Malia's airline Kingfisher for non payment of dues to the tune of 8 crore rupees. RSS has announced a change in uniform from its traditional khaki shorts to brown pants. While addressing the media at Nagore, RSS General Secretary Suresh Bhaiyaji Joshi said the details of when the new uniform will become functional will be worked out. Disapproving reservation demands by the affluent sections, the RSS General Secretary said the prosperous should not ask for the benefits of reservation. India Med Department has issued avalanche warning for higher areas of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand, advising people to not venture into these areas. The IMD also predicted heavy rain at isolated places over East Arunachal Pradesh, thunder showers with hailstorm at isolated places over Sikkim, Jharkhand, Bihar and Chhattisgarh for the next 48 hours. Republican frontrunner Donald Trump has suffered shock defeats in the party's caucuses in Wyoming and District of Columbia. Party rivals Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio took a crucial jump ahead of Republican presidential primaries in the key states of Florida, Ohio, Illinois, Missouri and North Carolina tomorrow. Western powers have condemned efforts by the Syrian government to set limits to the agenda of fresh peace talks. On Saturday, two days before the scheduled start of the Geneva talks, Syria's foreign minister ruled out any discussion of presidential elections. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry responded by accusing Damascus of trying to disrupt the process. Riding on Tamim Iqbal's superb century, Bangladesh booked a berth in Super 10 of World T20 tournament. Beat Oman by 54 runs on Duckworth-Lewis method in a rain-hit qualifier match in Dharamshala.